What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to make a simple explosion. We're going to be using Chaos Physics and some uh, sorry content particles. So it's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to get our some Unreal Engine courses on WinFox. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and drag an object into scene and then convert it to use the, the chaos physics okay so i'm gonna be using a simple cube up here so i'm gonna go up into quickly add to the part uh, shapes and cube of course you can use whatever model or mesh you want to go ahead and destroy and i guess i'm gonna be using a simple cube so i'm gonna bring it up over here so what we need to do now to convert it into a, a chaos um collection geometric collection to be uh, to separate it into different pieces and stuff we have to go up here and instead of selection mode we're gonna go into fracture and now what we have to do is generate a new uh, geometric collection so uh, you can save it whatever you want and with whatever name you want in my case it's okay for now so create geometric collection okay so now what we can do is fracture it now there's a lot of ways of doing so as you can see we have different options but the easiest one is to press uniform uh, it will just separate the the mesh into different uh, random parts okay and randomly basically so now you can change the noise to, you know, the amplitude to make the pieces bigger, smaller, and the frequency, uh, etc. Uh, the octave number, now, you know, this is for you to customize, um, and the Peroni, etc. Uh, yeah, that's too much. <laughs> but yeah, you can go ahead and uh, play around with the settings uh, to get what you want. Now in my case, pretty much with this, pretty much default, I think it's okay. I just lower a bit the amplitude, increase the frequency, and then I can just press Fracture. And now you see that we have different uh, pieces over here, it generates a lot of them. So uh, now we increase the explode amount, you will see how it would affect our mesh. You can see we're gonna separate, so cool. <laughs> so of course, we will see it better when we actually go and, and apply all the force on top. Okay, so now we can go ahead and go out into selection mode, and we can go into the details panel, then the object selected, and then what I'm going to do is go into the uh, damage uh, threshold. I'm going to lower all this into one. So this is the, the, um, how hard the object will be um, to break. So the, the parameter is lower, it will be easier to break it apart and stuff. So we'll need, uh, we'll need lower force basically. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and, and create a blueprint to you know apply all the logic as adding the impulse. Um, and expanding the sound and also spawning the particles. So what we can do is select the object from the scene and go into this icon over here. It looks like a blueprint. And now we can go ahead and create a blueprint from this selected uh, actor in the scene. So the name I will leave for you. For my case, I can say like a BP explosion. And then we can leave everything as default. You can change the path. But yeah, a new subclass. Okay, so now we can just press select. And there we go, we have a new blueprint open. So we are gonna go into the event graph. We don't need any of this, we just need the begin play. So when the game starts, we'll go ahead and add an impulse. So we're gonna add an impulse into the geometry collection, which is basically our um, chaos mesh, as you can see. So the amount of impulse, well, from my test sense before, I'm gonna be adding a uh, hundred thousand. On the Z axis, which, uh, as you know in Unreal Engine, the Z axis is up and down, it's vertical basically. So it's gonna be like a, a force upwards, okay? So it's gonna be pretty big of 100,000. Of course, you can customize it as you want to match with your pieces uh, when you fracture and stuff. And then we can just add a small delay because if not, and the explosion will occur a bit faster than the, the impulse. So the duration is gonna be around 0.32. Uh, and we'll have just a very tiny uh, delay. So now we want to spawn the an emitter at a location. Now, if you're using a, a Niagara uh, particle system, you want to uh, spawn a system at a location, okay? Instead of a, of an emitter. So, like I mentioned before, we're gonna be using the certain content. Um, if we go here, certain content uh, particles. We have a few of them, which are Cascade, which is the old uh, system of creating particles basically and we have a few of them as an explosion now if you don't see them i actually have uh will basically link the the asset from epic games uh, from the marketplace which is free in the description so you can go ahead and download it or if you don't uh if you don't have an important any started content you can just go into add 
uh, feature going to pack and then go to content and there you go so now you will have the explosion okay so now what we can do is just select the explosion over here or if it's a nigra system just do it the same with the other node and now we can just uh, play a location which will be our get actor location so no this is not <laughs> get actor location there we go so just spawn right where this explosion will be happening and the scale gonna basically make it twice as big okay so of course you can customize this as you want but i think this is gonna be pretty cool and then we just want to go ahead and play a sound i'm gonna say add the location so in the future if you want you can add reverb and stuff anyway i'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the get our location over there that will click in here you a bit more organized and then the sound you can put whatever you want i believe that i don't have yeah i have okay i have a simple explosion which is gonna make it louder because probably you guys cannot really hear it but there you go so now if i were to press play you will see there we go an explosion happening with all the pieces coming up and down very cool etc so i'm gonna go ahead and select the cube and go into the general and disable show bone colors because I want it to look back again normal. You can see the, the explosion happens and all the pieces go up, upwards and destroy and stuff with the sound. Um, now, of course, you can customize everything as you would like. Now, I think we need to add a bit more uh, delay, so maybe point four. But of course, you can experiment with that. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's way better. And, and of course you can make it uh, you know you can fracture it into smaller pieces so it has more detail and change all the parameters as you would like and change the uh, the sound the the emitter like the particles as to add more inputs so of course you can customize you want this is very very basic it's a very easy way of making a small explosion in unreal engine so you guys if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful i would really appreciate you could like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine fights throws out there so if you want to check it out go ahead and now yes with all i said bye bye